What's going on? This is Coach Adam. We are at the uh, French Sport headquarters, and uh, I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with a One Fit Wonder foam roller. Alright, this is one of our rollers. Um, this is a little bit of a softer one, so this is kind of almost a beginner level video that we want to use for, uh, uh, I'm going to show you how to smash the lateral quad and the calves, right? So first thing I'm going to talk about with foam rollers, uh, my biggest, biggest, biggest pet peeve uh, for foam rollers is people that just come into the gym, they take the roller, and they just, you know, you see them, they just come around and they're just rolling everything, or they, they come in, and they place the roller on their back, and they're just doing this. They're just rolling up and down, and uh, you know they treat it as a warm up. But in reality, it's not getting anything done. If you are stiff, if you are serious about improving your range of motion, you have to have a better approach at working on your soft tissue and using the tool correctly, right? Because you're just kind of skimming the surface, and you're not getting anything done with that method. So first thing, I'm, first piece I'm going to show uh, is the lateral, uh, kind of working on the lateral quad. Because um, it's kind of uh, it has connection to the IT band You can't change the IT band, but you can change the tissues around your IT band and kind of free up This is good if you're having any knee or hip pain. It's a good place to start. So biggest thing that I want to see is a, not only Staying on an area, but getting a ton of pressure notice how I'm on my other leg is on top of it And then this is how fast I'm gonna roll And does it even look like I'm rolling? Not really, that's how slow I'm going. Think steamroller, right? It should, it's, it's not going to be pleasant, right? Like it's, it, a lot of times you get a lot of kickback and it feels very, very painful. It feels <laughs> like you don't want to make crazy horse eye face, right? I want to stay calm, I want to stay relaxed, I want to have nice slow pressure going up and down making change to this quad. If I'm getting a lot of kickback, if this is very uncomfortable, that means that the tissue is healthy, or that means that the tissue is not healthy, it's very tight and stiff, and you need to stay on that area until you've made some serious change. So change means it doesn't hurt anymore, it feels, uh, it's less painful, you feel like you've freed up some range of motion. So that's the number one thing you can do, right? So you get a lot of pressure, you steamroll. Now I found a spot that's really, really tight. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to flex my quad. So I'm contracting my quad, right? I'm flexing it for five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna relax. I am relaxing over the foam roller. Now what I've done uh, through kind of this contract relax method is I am going deeper now into the tissues and I've gotten, I found some new ugliness down deeper than I was when I was a little bit more surface level, right? So. First one's steamrolling, second one's contract relax. Uh, third piece is I'm just gonna put my leg through some range of motion. So I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to bend and floss. I would probably put the back leg behind you if you can't withstand all that pressure, is I'm just going to bend the knee, straighten the leg. That's uh, kind of a tack and floss method. Uh, works well with a foam roller, um, but those are just some things that I want you to think about and do anytime that you get on a foam roller. Uh, if you're training, everything you do when you train has a purpose, right? Every, every movement you do has, look, we're trying to get, we have a goal and we're doing these things to get the goal done. If you don't have the same mindset when you foam roll, you're never going to improve range of motion. You're never gonna get anything done. So second thing is I'm just gonna show something you can do for the calves. It's almost the same thing, but what I like with the calf is simply just getting the other leg on top and then bracing, and then what can I do? I can steamroll, so I can go very, very slowly. I can kind of go against the grain of the tissue. So instead of rolling up and down, I'm gonna go side to side, back and forth on this roller, right? So instead of going up and down, I'm going side to side. I can do tack and floss where I pull my foot in the dorsiflexion, and then straighten, pull, straighten, and then again get as much pressure as you can handle on those tissues and when i say take a lot of pressure i don't mean something where it hurts so bad that i'm contracting and i'm making a pain face and i can't breathe if you can't breathe during any of these mobilizations you're too deep use something softer right so uh, rules stay on an area use one to three of those methods you can use any one whatever one works best for you and number two is make sure you can breathe make sure you can relax so that you can actually make some change and uh, improve range of motion in the areas that you want to again this is one of our softest rollers uh, this is something good for a beginner somebody that's never done any body work any uh, no soft tissue work um, for someone like myself i use something much much harder 
Uh, we'll go over those in a different video. But uh, this has been Adam White at Fringe Sport Headquarters going over a couple things you can do on your foam roller.